Habakkuk chapter 1. Not Tabaka, Habakkuk. Habakkuk means embracer. And again, we're in another book that's going to talk about the sins of Israel. And the silence of God. The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did say. O Lord, how long shall I cry? Well, evidently he's in the process of crying. He wants to know how long. He wants to know when the answer is going to come. And that will not hear. He's praying. He's praying. He's praying. But there's no answer. You're not the only one. There may be times when it comes to a prayer life that God says yes. God says no. God says not now. Now God's not answering Habakkuk because of sin. But God may not answer you. It may not be because of sin. It just might, this is not the right time. Patient. God is long-suffering. God is eternal. God does not wear a wristwatch. God does not have on the throne on the walls of heaven a calendar. We get in prayer. You got the reason why I say that. You get into these religious phonies, and you walk up to them, and you've got the faith to go up to them and believe that you can be healed by them. You listen. They'll tell you, you ain't got the faith. You walked up to that character. You've got faith. There are some prayers that God will not listen, will not hear. How long? I don't know. How long shall I cry and thou will not hear? even cry out unto thee of violence how long has that word been showing up in the last prophet books we've been studying Habakkuk is praying to God and God and he's telling God God you see the violence God they're killing people God they're murdering people they're they're raping they're eating their children and thou will not save escalation point Habakkuk doesn't walk up to God and say God I'm praying to you why ain't you answering me Habakkuk walks up to God, God I'm praying about you there are people dying there are people being murdered there are people who are how come you're not saving exclamation point why does thou show me wait, why does thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance God is kind of answering Habakkuk Habakkuk is praying to God hey why aren't you saving us and God's showing iniquity See that over there? You see what your neighbor just did? Do you see what the king is doing? Do you see that church there? Do you see the idols? Habakkuk's getting an answer. He's getting the reason why I'm not answering you is because they're in iniquity. How's that for an answer? I've had God answer me in prayer like that. God, I, I pray for something. God showed me a sin that's in my life. God, what about oh, oh yeah, okay. Didn't realize that. Forgot about that. Yeah, I'm doing that. You ever had those prayers? You ever want something with God and he puts something else that's completely opposite? That's God dealing with you. That's what God saying, hey, there's something in the way between you and me. And before you get your cell phone and start dialing my number, let's dial your number. And cause me to behold grievance. Habakkuk is in grief. He's 
crying. He he's sickening. He's He's distraught about what's going on. He's got sincere prayers to God for his people. For spoiling. Now I've said that's a Bible word of armies coming in, getting victory, and taking what of their own goods. True. People are coming in and they're, they're beating Israel and they're, they're walking away with things. And the government's probably spoiling. And there's that word again, violence. What is the mark of the final days of Israel and Judah? Violence. So what do you see on television? You see up in, up in the corner of the television... Sorry, I got, you see up in the corner of television, this thing is rated. And what could be one of the things that is wrong with the television show? Violence. Violence. Now, if you're not hanging your own neck, can you imagine people standing the great way and saying, well, what, what problems do we have? And God brings up the, all the ratings. And violence is one of the ratings on the television. I forget how they do in the movie. I don't think they. I don't think they mention with the PG-13 or all that. I think they may do. Well, one of the classifications of the ratings is, is nudity, language, language yeah. violence, sexual innuendo, or whatever you want to call it. Are before me. Habakkuk walks down the street. He's seeing it. He don't have a television set. He doesn't have a radio. But yet, it's in front of him. We're not that bad in all the cities of America. Cities in America, it's going on. Spoiling. Rioting. Because they didn't get their own way. Violence. Kid walks into school with a gun and starts killing. Walks into a movie theater and starts killing. Walks into a courtroom and starts killing. Kills the boss and several co-workers because he lost his job. And there are that raised up strife and contention. Hey, this is fighting and fighting and fighting and arguments the courts are filled as they are in America the courts are so filled they even don't have enough dates on the calendar to do the court cases with all that therefore the law is slack no one's paying attention to God's love what is God's love for the Jew this is my law I've given you. This is how you're to act so I can be with you and you can be with me. And they violated it. And you think God's going to answer a prayer from Habakkuk when they're doing what they're not supposed to be doing? How about you, Christian? You think you're going to get an answer from God by doing what you're not supposed to do? And you expect God to answer you? You expect God to reach down from holy Unto that which is unholy? I don't think Jesus ever answered that other dying thief. Did he? He only reached out to the thief that repented. Matter of fact, the repentant thief reached out to the other thief and gave him a re message from the cross. You better believe on that, that man over there who's got a kingdom, who's a king, who can save you. Now, excuse me for a minute. Uh, Jesus, remember me in, in, in your kingdom. <clears throat> All right, law of slack and judgment does never go forth. No one's getting proper justice. Isn't this a great time that Habakkuk is living in? There's bribery in the courtroom. 
There's race in the courtroom. Oh, you can't do that because that guy's colored. How dare you? Oh, he's a police officer, so he's instantly guilty. But we're not going to hear your case because you're too mediocre. Well, you know, you're just... We're not going to make enough uh, news in the newspaper about who you are. We're not going to sell enough papers. For the wicked does compass encircle about the righteous. So picture a righteous man. He's in the middle being surrounded by wicked people. The wicked outnumber the righteous. That's what Habakkuk is saying. There's more wicked than there's righteous. That's not what the nation of Israel was to be designed. They have completely gone astray from what God designed them as a nation. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. Now, how plain and simple could Habakkuk put it? Habakkuk does not put it in legal ease. <laughs> he puts it right. Wrong judgment proceeded. What's wrong judgment? The guilty are being called innocent and the innocent are being called guilty. The one that should be put behind bars is not being put behind bars. The one that should get the liability or what we call the money is not getting it. Behold, <clears throat> excuse me, ye among the heathen. Now this is God speaking. What was Israel supposed to do when they got in the land? They were supposed to wipe out all those nations, weren't they? So you know what God reaches down? Hey Jew, you among the heathen, them dead dogs. Shut up, Jonah. Shut up, Peter. You're living amongst them. You've got their gods. We read, I think it was Isaiah, they're eating pork at a barbecue. They don't have the law. They're not doing what God told. Hey, you among the heathen. They're not separated no more. And regard. And wonder marvelously. God is answering the unexpected answer. Everybody wants God to have love. God wants everybody to show mercy. God wants everyone to forgive. God wants everyone to hate the sin and love the sinner. God says, You're not mine. For I will work a work in your days, Habakkuk's time, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. It's gonna, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, but you're not going to believe it. Where have you heard that before? I think we heard that this morning, didn't we? Somebody preached about hell and upon death. If you die, you'll go to hell. Unless you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, be saved. Did they believe it? For lo, here's what I'm telling you, God says. God says, I'm going to tell you something. Here it is, ready? I, God, this is the answer. This is the answer that God gives Habakkuk. Now, this is not the answer you want. This would be like, Lord, I, I'm in a lot of pain. Help me, Lord. Oh, Lord, please. You go to the doctor, the doctor says, okay. God says, okay, now listen, here's the answer to prayer. Your test came back. You got cancer. That's not the answer I wanted. It's worse. It's a worse condition. You open up your, the bedroom door of your child and find they're doing drugs. It's not a good answer. You open up the bathroom door to find out somebody's cut their, their slit their wrists. See, that's the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. 
That's the problem. See, before they ate the fruit, they knew good. They knew God. They knew holy. But now we know evil. Now we know all the sins. We know everything about sin today from that fruit. And God says, for I will raise up the Chaldeans. And right now, they are not yet a full military, as Habakkuk's writing. It's Babylon. So this would be like God saying, I don't know, I'm just, I do pay attention to some of the news. Oh, boy, now I just said Korea. Not Korea. So that Kim guy, he, he, he's, he's doing all kinds of testing now. I forget where you come from. Up there by Russia. I think it's Korea. Yeah, Korea. He's over there. He's making all these missiles and all that. And everyone's like, what's he going to do? He, he, he ain't going to do nothing. And God may be warning us. Say, hey, you know what? I'm preparing them to come into America. It ain't going to happen. Man, look, the Japanese came in December 7, 1941, and we kicked their butt. Germany had all the U-boats, and we kicked their butt. It ain't going to happen to us. Islam, they're our friends. They're not our enemy. They ain't going to do nothing to us. For lo, I will raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation. Ooh. I'd like to be just bitter and hasty. Which shall march through the breath of the land. God is going to allow this to happen. And it does. And they got the, 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 the prophets Jeremiah and Isaiah telling them. Which shall march to the breath of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not there. They're coming in and they're going to stay. They're going to live. And Israel is listening to Habakkuk and saying, it ain't going to happen. They're listening to Jeremiah and it ain't going to happen. Listen, this is a false prophet. Man, you take these iron uh, yoke, we're going to beat Babylonian butt. Remember that? Remember the opposition that Jeremiah got? It's, it's happening now with Habakkuk too. And possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment. Oh, you haven't been doing judgment. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. They're going to think about themselves. They ain't going to care about Jews. The mighty Babylonians. For the Babylonian. Of the Babylonian. About the Babylonian. Kill the Jews. Their horses are also swifter than the leopards. I guess you're not going to be able to outrun them. And are more fierce than the evening wolves. So when they do catch you, and their horsemen shall spread themselves, many of them, and their horsemen shall come from, afar, come from far. They shall fly as the eagle. That hastens to eat. Man, when they record the speeds of that eagle, when he sees a mouse on the bottom, that's ultrasound speed. When that eagle has his his eyes on that dinner, and that eagle goes into a dive, it's quick. How quick? I forgot to check and write it down. That's how quick. You can look it up on, uh, on the internet. God knows because he made the eagle. They shall come. Oh, but the eagle. Doesn't the Bible say in Psalms you're to rest on the eagle's wings? Here God's taking the eagle and saying, you know what? He's against you. God is against them. Don't you come underneath my wing. I ain't going to protect you. I'm going to put my wings at my side. And I'm going to a dive bomb. And I'm going to get you. Can't run to God for protection when you're sinning. Get that Christian. Let me say it again. You can't run to God for protection when you're in sin. 
they shall come all for there's that word again you've been in violence you're doing violence you're going to get violence you know what the harsh thing is I try to stay out of this because it's not a public thing it's something you sit down with an individual one-on-one -on -one. but this country is involved in abortion it's it's a proven fact it's a murder if we are doing this to our children before they're born and the Bible says be not deceived God's not mocked whatsoever a man soweth that he shall also reap what do you think this country is going to get for all the babies it's killed you ever think about that you ever think about how God's going to say okay the day of reckoning what on earth is this for this is for the abortions Israel has been in violence we have seen that word over and over and over God told Noah that the mankind of the earth is in violence Do you imagine what those the, the Bible says that the heavens opened up the earth opened up and it not only rained from the heavens it rained from above it rained from below it just rained I wasn't well, today we heard that one of the moons is all water one of your rains is moon how about that if that moon just opened all the water up it had and that had them in violence God gave them the violence that they had the violence you will get what you plant and what you plant you'll get a lot more They shall come all for violence. Their faces shall sup up as the east wind. The east wind is a terrible is a terrible wind. They shall gather the captivity as the sand. They're going to take people back to Babylon. Did it happen? Ask Ezekiel. <laughs> ask Daniel. Ask Shadrach, Meshach. Ask them. Ask all the names that are written in Ezra and Nehemiah. How many are there? But when Habakkuk is right and it hasn't happened, and God's telling you these Jews are saying, it ain't going to happen. And they said that during Jeremiah's time. They wanted to kill Jeremiah. They shall scoff at the kings. <laughs> Look at you. Fall down before me, king. Didn't the king of Judah in the middle of the night went through the wall and tried to sneak out from the army? And they grabbed him and poked his eyeballs out just before they killed his sons? Uh, blind king. <laughs> and the princes shall be a scorn unto them. They shall deride every stronghold. Get rid of, destroy. They tore Jerusalem up. Go ask uh, Nehemiah. Yeah, Nehemiah. When he took a little ride on his donkey. He got to the point that him and his donkey couldn't go anywhere. For they shall heat dust and take it. <laughs> Naaman took some dirt with him for the Lord. Babylon takes some dirt for what? The Hanging Gardens maybe? They have to be fruit, fruit, ugh, fruitful, uh, fertile soil. Then shall his mind change, and he shall pass over and offend. Oh, don't be offensive. Imputing this his power unto his God. Who? The Babylonian God. You want all those gods, Israel? Well, I'll give you the Babylonian God. At the sound of the shot bug, the bebop, the budget, the whatever they are. Fall down and worship my golden image, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Out of the entire people of Israel, you're only recorded three Jews ever to fought it. Even the anger of God, they still went out. They just added a Babylonian God to their knick-knack, caddywhack, give themselves a bone shell. 
And thou, not from everlasting, thinking about God. Habakkuk is now saying, he's talking about God. And thou, God, not from everlasting, the Alpha and Omega. He's the one that makes history and the future. O oh Lord my God, begins a famous hymn. I'm reading notes here. The I am that God self exists. That Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D in the Hebrew. The I am. Oh my God. Oh Lord my God. God, what shall I say is your name? I am. And when people say God does not exist, God is dead, Habakkuk says, I am. Oh Lord my God, my Holy One, God is holy. Hebrews 1 10, 1 12, 13 8, James 1 17. What God is there? He's the God that I am. What God is he? He's the Holy One. We shall not die. You say, well, wait a minute. What a contradiction. No. Habakkuk is talking about the Jewish race of the Abraham covenant that some people say God's all finished with the Jew. Habakkuk will walk up to somebody, he says, God is all finished with the Jew, walk up to them in the face and say, <laughs> We ain't done. Why ain't we done? Because of the Abraham covenant. Jews that sin will get their just deserts. Jews that get right will get God as their father. For judgment, verse 1, 5 through 11. And almighty God. Look, look, look at the gods. He's the I am. He's holy. He's mighty. Thou has established them for correction verses 1 I mean chapter 1 verses 5 through 11 what did God just say about the Babylonian army what was that it was for correction it's a rod upon your rear end because you are bad how's that Hebrews chapter 12 that's a quite of a bit of a of a rearing of people you love, the, the Babylonian captivity, wasn't it? Was it 40 years, was it? 70 years. How would you like to have your father put you over his knee for 70 years? Beat your butt. That must have been some serious sin. What was the sins now? One of them was other gods. Idolatry. Not doing what God told you to do. Thou art of purer eyes than to behold evil. God, there is no reason why you should be looking at this. Behold the eyes of the Lord in every place. Behold the evil. God, you're just too... I am. You're just too holy. You're just too mighty to be looking at what we're doing. It's bad enough me as a human, Habakkuk, to be seeing it. But you? Christian, do you realize what your eyes see, what your ears hear, what your mouth tastes, what your feet go, what you touch with your hands? The Holy Spirit that dwells in you is doing the same thing. Go ahead, inhale that smoke, because inside you is the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, watch that pornography. In your eyes, you're, God is seeing that 
God has seen the breast and the other parts of the women that ought not to be seen. Just spell it out. It'll be open. Go ahead and use those cussing words because you're making the Holy Spirit do it. Go into your employer's shelf and grab things that are not yours but his and have the Holy Spirit steal it. Cast not look on iniquity. Well, kind of hard because they're doing it. There's coming a day that God's going to make me new. God's going to redeem me and buy me back totally. Give me a new body. No sin. And then whenever he sees me, there will be no iniquity no more. Until then, I've got 1 John 1, 9. God wants to forgive my sin. He don't want me doing them, but he's given access to forgive. Wherefore, lookest thou upon them that deal treacherously. Ooh, that's an Old Testament thing. Lord, you see them that are doing wrong? Look at what they're doing. And holdest thy tongue when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than he. Somebody should be speaking up for somebody, and they're not doing it. Do you know what Habakkuk just told you? If you, for, if you should speak up for somebody for their well-being and you don't do it, Habakkuk says it's wrong. You let them get unfair justice, unfair judgment, and you don't say, see anything, you are doing wrong. But who wants to stir the waters? What did Jesus say something about a friend that will lay down his life? As I have loved you, so you love your brethren. Does that one poke you? Does that one really? Have you watched somebody not get what they're supposed to get and get mistreated and all you had to do is speak up and didn't? And make his men as fishes of the sea. Uh, did I say Jesus was a fish or did I say men were the fish? So when you got on your car, the fish emblem. Men are the fish, not Jesus. So when you got your fish emblem on your car, you're representing men. And maketh men as the fishes of the sea. You know what fishes are? Reptile. You know what cherubim is missing that represents the reptilian class? Revelation 12. That old serpent, the dragon. So what did Jesus tell his disciples? Come be fishes of men you know what you're like when you're going so winning it's like going fishing you go try to catch fish like and you try to turn them into sheep where their worm dieth not as the creepy things that have no rule over them. Remember he said about the ant Solomon? It has no ruler. They go out and do. The locusts have no ruler. Stupid animals. They take up all of them with their angle. Fishing. And catch them in their net. Fishing. And gather them in their drag, fishing. Therefore they rejoice and are glad at the fishing, at the catching the fishing. So when Jesus comes on scene, who are the four first who are the first four men he chooses to follow him? Fishermen. Habakkuk just told you who the four first disciples would be. Fishermen. 
Wasn't there plenty of times when those fishermen, because of Jesus, caught a lot of fish and they were happy? Except for Peter when he jumped overboard and ran to the Lord. I mean, swam to the Lord. Probably tried to run in the ocean first, but that didn't work. I start swimming. Therefore, they sacrificed unto... Oh, man. You mean they didn't give God the praise? Do you know who the fish God is? Do you know what his head looks like? It looks like the Pope's hat. Do you know somebody says that you can only eat something on Friday? Something sounds fishy to me. Therefore they shall sacrifice unto their net and burn incense unto their drag. Because they, because by them, the net and the drag, their portion is not God. And their meat, plenty is not God. Oh, holy net. Oh, holy drag. I'm washing my net, washing my net. Cleaning the drag. Burning to them. Go back to the self. Look at what those fishermen are doing. And Jesus calls the first four men fishermen. Don't tell me Peter, James, John, and Andrew did not see that. I just say they didn't. They part in it, but it, you know it was going on. The entire nation of Israel was sick when Jesus came. According to Leviticus, that sickness was because of sin. He's cleaning devils out left and right. Where do you see people with devils in the Old Testament? Where do you see Jeremiah, Isaiah, Habakkuk, Ezekiel, Daniel going up to anybody, to anybody who has a devil and says, come out of him? Nowhere. That's the spiritual condition of Israel in the time of Jesus Christ. They're sick. Shall they therefore empty their net and not spare continually to slay the nation? I would take for a very great advantage for so far that God hates images and idols. I, 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 I take that for granted. Something just tells me. Oh, let me check here for you. Hold on. Let me check something here just for a minute. I want to check this. Open. Um, let's see. We got Habakkuk. Habakkuk. That's way over here somewhere. Jonah, Micah, Habakkuk. All right. I'm going back to 904 chapters. 905, yeah, 904 chapters. I seem to got the impression that God hates images and hates idols and definitely hates serving other gods and not him. I think I got that point down. And we are 626 years before Jesus Christ is ever born, before any church becomes the church of Jesus Christ. Leaving a lot more with the church of Jesus Christ and the Latter Saints. Even a lot more from the Jehovah Witnesses. 904 chapters. I got the idea that these churches that are yet to come are false. And their roots are not A.D., their roots are B.C. In the very chapters that got Jerusalem in trouble. Why am I not in the Catholic Church anymore? Because everything that the Catholic Church does and does and will do is an abomination that God judged. 
You need to open your Bible and read and study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word. Now, I'm not going to join no church that started A.D. late and has the same thing B.C. It's already proven to be a lie. Why do you study the whole Bible? Because God will tell you what to believe and what not to believe by the word of God.